Hello, 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 Karen here. Today I'm doing an abstract collage and I am gonna share with you some tips on how to add contrast to your collage and make those elements pop. When I first started doing collage, I really struggled with contrast. A lot of my collages ended up being really flat and just not very interesting. It wasn't until later that I learned that I really needed to add an element that made the collage pop. And generally this was done using contrast. It's great to start off with, you know, colorful images, but if you get something that has too many colors in it, then nothing stands out. A little later on in the video, I am going to show you how I transform this collage into something that pops. You can see here I'm putting down these really dark strips of torn paper and this is going to add a lot of contrast. Without this element things get kind of flat. thing you'll notice is I'm varying the shapes that I'm using. I've got circles, I've got squares, I've got triangles, I've got a lot of torn shapes. That also adds some real interest to your pages. And never be afraid to change your mind about something and just tear it off. <laughs> I'm now I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to it. What this is going to do is allow these shapes that I put down to pop off of the page. And I'm purposefully doing this with those shapes that added a lot of contrast to my page. Now 
I'm using a water soluble crayon and then just getting it wet with a brush and rubbing it with my finger. So much fun to create this way. I hope you will grab some scraps and see what you can make. And if you're looking for some more inspiration, click on one of these videos. See you later. Mm -hmm.